Well, there are victims, many victims of the crimes that are charged in the indictment, but then there's a specific category of victims, and those are victims that are participating in the proceedings. To be a victim that's participating in the proceedings, you must meet three legal criteria. Those three elements are that you're a natural person, as opposed to a legal person, that is, for example, that you're a human being, versus being a business or an institution. You have to have a proof of harm. That harm can be mental, it can be physical, or it can be material or economic. It's another way to say that. For example, types of harm might be that you've had a loss of a limb, that you have lost a family member, that your business was damaged in an explosion, or perhaps that you have mental um, suffering and continued mental difficulty based on the trauma and the recollections of the trauma of being at the event itself. And finally, you have to, there is, has to be a relationship, a direct relationship between the harm that has been suffered and the crimes which are charged in one of the indictments. Once you have those three elements, um, they are presented to the pretrial judge and the pretrial judge assesses them and if they meet the legal criteria, you are then approved to be a victim participating in the proceedings and that gives you the right in the proceedings to present your views and concerns.